always do. Hello. We're back. Hello. Right. But hopefully the final part. <laughs> so, we beat the better chaos. We beat see We beat uh, the four kings. And we beat the other one. Nito. Uh, Nito. Nito. <laughs> so now let's go back and see Cat in the Abyss and see what he has to say. Ooh. So yeah, we really are uh, nearing the home stretch here. What we have to do is head through that final door. Ah, if you wish. I shall grant the art of life drain. Life drain? The legendary power of uh, the this is the dialogue that lets you, um, lets you join the dark race. If you want to be a dick and invade people online, this is the covenant for you! <laughs> uh, I actually do normally join this covenant because I am a dick and I like to invade people. <laughs> but uh, there's not really much point because we are playing online. Oh, no, like offline, sorry. Very well. Be still. Entrust thy flesh to me. So let's go and fill up that Lord vessel. And that's when the game ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just eats you. Ah, uh, god damn it, I knew I shouldn't have fought for that. <laughs> oh, this trick in the book. Yeah. Yeah. Cat is an interesting character though. Because you do have to wonder, with with being the head of the Dark Wraiths and wanting to spread the abyss, what exactly does this fucker want? Does he want darkness to cover the entire world? And if so, why? The fuck is he? <laughs> and also, it's it's actually been postulated that um, Frap, uh, Frap, Frap and Cat, <laughs> Cat and Frap are actually the same being, and they're just different heads. They're, they're just different parts of a many-headed being. Well, yeah. could be just and, and they're all fucking you over. Well, they could just be the same person, one with a fake moustache. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, they do uh, look the same, and I've never seen them both in the same place. Ah, uh, conspiracy! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Let's... I'll pray the fire card, and then I'll pray the dark card, covering <laughs> both threats I am. <laughs> Let's uh, offer these souls to the Lord Vessel. So what do you think I'm going to find behind this door, Mark? No idea. Like an educated guess. A monster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Heaven! I really like this uh, this next part. Yeah, it's, it is fun. Skyish. So we head through into this white area. Hey, look, it's Gwyn. Hang on, that's it's not Gwyn. It's one of Gwyn's knights. Well, why are they walking across the atlas? Uh, because they're dead. We entering the land of the dead. These these are all the knights that were incinerated when uh, Gwyn kindled the first flame. Right. And here we are, at the kiln of the first flame. So, uh, not much fire he left here. Seems pretty much just ash and cinder. And uh, when the game first came out, this was. A PvP hotspot. This is where everyone went to duel. Duke it out. That's, that's, that's pretty stylish. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's a nice place for a duel. People don't come here so much anymore. Uh, they tend to they go, go right to Ula, They tend to go to Ulasil Township, which is the DLC area. But I still like this place. It's, it's quite cool. Ulasil Township isn't as uh, stylish as this. No, but it, it just seems to be where people tend to congregate these days. Anyway, that night. And the Undead Parish as well, but, you know. Yeah. Black Knight. Black Stag. I don't know. 
that did. All right. These guys, uh, these guys dropped tiny like chunks like nobody's business. In fact, they drop. Uh, in fact, I think they drop every type of chunk. Yeah, they drop them close. Yeah, they drop every single type, conceivable type of chunk you can imagine. And this guy has a great sword. Ah! Uh, Just stab him in the back like a good boy. I wanted to parry him. He's better than you. He's not. Clearly, he's not. Or he'd be kicking his ass right now. Yeah. Quite a trip. Get down, boy. Yes, I oh, yeah, saw him. This is also the wait. This is also somewhere where you can pick up the uh, deck knight weapons and armor. This is a pretty cool sword. Yep. I really like the way it looks. Unfortunately, its move set is a bit, a bit pants. Well, that's not a great example because you're too few. No, I don't, I don't mean that. I mean <laughs> generally, its move set is a bit pants. Yeah, I don't have the strength to wield it. But anywhere near. Look at that. Thirty-two strength. Anywhere near that much strength. Oh, you could wield it two-handed though. What? Do you know? Oh no, maybe not. What? You have sixteen strength. strength. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's not quite hard. Yes. Uh, oh shit! I don't feel like inconsistent rules in my game. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if it's half. It may be just over half. I don't know how it's worked out exactly. I just remember it being roughly half. But anyway, so you gathered the three dark souls. Uh, Lord Souls, what to do what? Open the door. To open that gate. Uh, to fill the Lord, to basically the Lord Vessel needs to be filled with souls. Yeah, I got that. I was just like, and what's, what's then that purpose for? To open the door. To open the door uh, for the successor of... Basically, it's a test for anyone who wants to succeed Lord, Lord Gwyn. Because when Gwyn lit the fire, it was just like a temporary measure. Um, so he linked the fire, and so the age of fire would continue. But eventually, the, fl the flames would fade, and someone else would have to do the same job and succeed him. So that's you, and basically that was your test to see if you were worthy to succeed him. Um, but I get the feeling that the Great Lord is not just going to allow you to uh, succeed him without a fight. One final test. Yeah. If you can't kick my ass, then you're not going to be good enough. Yeah! In the balls! And in the back. Both holes by edge at the same time. Okay, the after the night. This guy, ah, uh, this guy has a black knight halberd. The speedrunner's best friend. Yeah. If you can get it to drop, you can do a pretty good speedrun with it. But, uh, yeah, it's not that reliable. There we go, blue tie knight chunk. Okay then. This is it, boys. Pass, pass. Prepare to impress us, Adam. Matt Cure the epic music! Uh, actually, this music is pretty appropriate, I think. It's quite sad. Cool. That was down That's well. not a great start. Fortunately, his weapon is not just physical, so even blocking, he will still hurt you. Ah! Oh, you parried him! <laughs> Yeah, Gwyn is the only boss in the game you can parry. Bam! As such, Gwyn isn't, if you're a good parrier, pretty fucking... Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, he grabbed me! He always grabbed me. And yes, he grabs you, at which point you're pretty much dead. <laughs> you can't backstab him. Nice. I couldn't quite understand why they made this decision, that you'd be able to do this to him. Well, it's because at this point in the game they wanted to have a final boss that would test all of the skills you learned throughout the game, including parrying. I know, but it kind of makes him 
Your help? A bit too easy, yeah. Bam! I you know, he's dead. Oh! Oh, that was so good! Tell me how skilled I am! <laughs> yes! I'm unimpressed. <laughs> I think that was pretty good. It was, it was a little bit jammy at times. Yeah. But, you know. Anyway. Now we have the option to rewrite the first game, or say, fuck it. Yeah. There's the first game. So, come all this way. Do you want to believe King Seeker Frampt that this is the way to go? Or do we want to just walk out that door and take a risk on an unknown future? Mm. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go to the dark. It's gonna happen sooner or later. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> we'll just do any and everything. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Carl and Frank serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let the true God be cast upon the world. Our Lord has returned. And that's Dark Souls. There you go, man. And you have this awesome end credits music. Mm, very oh, epic. man. <laughs> okay, uh... So, yeah, basically... That is that. Um, I'm, I mean, there's so much debate over what the two endings of the game mean. To fill you in on the other ending, basically, you go... You go to the bonfire in the middle of that of that last room, the link of fire, and you are consumed by flames. The frames spread out, and basically what I can take from that is that your character burns in there for all eternity as fuel for that flame. Well, not for all eternity. Well, until the next person comes in and to link the fire and kill you. So it's either to, ex to extend the age of fire, or to accept the darkness. Yeah. To accept that the fires will fade and just take a risk on that on that yep. future, whatever it may be. Mm. An interesting uh, point. Yeah, a lot of people have said that they believe that that really what well, what basically what people think is that the obviously the the like the fire ending is intended as a good ending and. The, uh, the Dark Lord ending is intended the bad ending, but actually it's the other way round, and that the Link the Fire ending is the bad ending, and the Dark Lord ending is the good ending. Really, what I think is that there is no good ending, there is no bad ending. There's just two endings. Mm -hmm. There's just two. There's just two decisions, and neither neither one is really the good decision or the bad decision. It's just, do you want to keep things the same or do you want change? That's that's really the choice, and it's not it's nothing really to do with good or evil. Mm. So, you can't go on. So, yeah. So, but en ending <laughs> aside, uh, what did you guys think of the actual game itself as the gameplay? Uh, the gameplay seemed like quite sta uh, quite uh, quite set in itself. It looked like there's a few things that you could obviously uh, abuse. I still, I don't understand why the game didn't have a jump in it. It doesn't really need one. It kind of, I mean, did you see that if you run and press B, yeah, there's, yeah, a kinda, yeah. there's a kind of long jump. You can kind of jump across, like, open areas. But, uh, I don't know. I think that's just because of combat. Yeah. It's just because if, if you could have players jumping around constantly, if there was a jump button, it would just make combat a bit ridiculous. Not really if it costs stamina. Yeah, you would jump. Even, even if it did, it would still, I don't know, I'm not sure about that, having a jump button. Because Oblivion and... has... Well, yeah, that's but... Really yeah, like. yeah, Oblivion, as an example. But Oblivion, I spent half the game jumping around like a fucking rabbit, bouncing on top of buildings. Yeah, but... 
in terms of sort of the gameplay and the combat, jumping with Divin doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't really add any. So it's it's, it's kind of that's the reason there isn't a jump button. It wouldn't add anything. Hmm. Yeah. So what about what about the sort of the setting of the world and the story, Mark? Uh, the story is a tad confusing, but I think there's general uh, might that's probably more to do with how we have played it. Yeah. Uh. I, I so, would say uh, I got a bit lost with the story most of the time, but I think we have of, we have done a bit of an information dump on it. Yeah. To be fair, and there is like to be honest, like a lot of the stuff that I know about the game is through like multiple playthroughs. When I first complete this game, I was actually a bit annoyed because I really didn't have any idea of what happened. Mm. Like the ending just confused the shit out of me, and I think you had. I think you had a kind of similar reaction to the ending, Matt, when it was just like, you were a bit disappointed by the ending. Yeah, I was just sort of set fire to, and I went, well, what is this? Oh, okay. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> we can just keep talking, don't worry. Okay. Um, Adam, your final thoughts? So yes. Yeah. you have anything else you want to say, Matt? No, that's it. Okay. Right. My final thoughts on this game is, I think it's an absolute blinder of a game. This probably won't come as any surprise to any of you or anyone who's watching. But I absolutely yes. adore this game. And I think... This is beginning a new game plus. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep this in the edit. I might I think... Well, how, what do you reckon we just kill the Asylum Demon? We finish it off by killing the Asylum yeah, Demon. Yeah, we're in new game plus at the moment, so we are pimped out with all the shit we <laughs> yeah. in the end of the last game. Anyway, continue on your... On your uh, yeah. Um, I think it is it is very very brave of Promsoft and uh, Namco Bandai to have published and made a game like this, a game which is unashamedly uh, doesn't hold your hand, doesn't give you any tu- any real tutorials except uh, for except for the just very a basic. Ads, just a moment, back a bit. Something we didn't do in the first game through. If we turn the F, oh yeah, we can see that guy. From the, anyway, I'm sorry for interrupting. That's alright. So yeah, it doesn't. It's a game that doesn't hold your hand. It it does not insult the player. It does not patronise the player. It expects. It basically understands that the player has intelligence and it can work. And the player can work out things for themselves. And if the player gets stuck, if the player can't work things out for themselves, then that's okay. Sometimes it's okay for games to be a little bit challenging. And yeah. And even not not just regards to the gameplay, but with regards to the story, it doesn't spoon feed you. It allows you to put the pieces together for yourself and even come to your own conclusions about what is really going on. And all the stuff I have said about the game, what what is really happening, that's that's really just my own opinion. That's not set in stone about what is actually happening. You can kind of invent your own ideas of what is happening in this game. I really like that. I like that it's left to your imagination. And I like the fact that you can go back and play the game again with pimped out items and defeat the Asylum Demon in basically two combos. <laughs> Fuck you, Asylum Demon! <laughs> yeah! Um, what you want, motherfucker? <laughs> what you want? <laughs> um. My opinion of this game is, it's it is very good. It, I I did rage quit this game quite a few times. I would admit. Oh, as did I. As did I. I I there were certain sections of the game where I thought this is a cheat, but most of the time I always felt that when I died, I deserved it. Yeah, it was because I I wasn't playing well enough. Or I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't playing well enough. Or I, I did something stupid. Or I was rushing it. There were times playing this game where I had to put the controller down and just wait an hour before I attempted something again. Yeah, I, I have to say there is there is times where I got really really angry at this game, and uh, I think sometimes it probably was the game's fault. <laughs> yeah. Or my fault because I was insulting you up there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not not in this play, not in this particular playthrough. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, but I felt 
that the mechanics in this game are very good, they're very well thought out. There's a lot of skill involved in the way you play it. The lot of different fields, so it has great replay value. The story, as Mark said, is a little confusing, but there's a great there's a great sense of depth to this game. Which I really like. There's a great sense that there's a lot going on that you don't know about. And really, as you said, the game is a spoon feeder to you. If you want to know about this stuff, you've got to find it out yourself. Yeah. You've got to know, uh, there's no point in going on, Adam. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you've got, to, you've got to go out of your way to find out the lore. You've got to go out of your way to find out what was going on. And you've got to come to your own decision as to, with everything the way this world is and what is right and what is wrong in this world. Yeah. Who are you and who do you want to be? Yeah. Do you want to be the dark world? Do you want to be the, the the hope of the world? Do you want to be an arsehole? It's 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 it gives you a great openness to yeah. explore all of that, and it's much fucking better than Demon Souls. Yes, yeah. it is. It is like having played Demon Souls, and I and I actually went back and bought a PS3 to play Demon Souls because I love Dark Souls so much, and I love Demon Souls. But it is like such an enormous improvement over Demon Souls. It really is. Anyway, uh, we're around yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We uh, don't want this to end. Yeah, t- ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to end either. But with, alas, all good things must come to an end. Just one last thing I want to say is that the online play in this game is fucking revolutionary, and long may it continue. But anyway, all things must come to an end. And it's time to end this playthrough. So, from myself, Adam, will you give us one more for the road? There's a kiff right there. For all time's sake. <laughs>